A final quick word on calculations with decimals. So here's the reality. I recognize that in most of your life, when you have to do a complicated calculation involving decimals, you're in all likelihood going to take out a calculator to do it. So although we've shown you how to do some core basic calculations with decimals, I do know that you're probably, for complicated ones, going to use your calculator. So what's particularly important is that you have a good sense, a good number sense around what you're doing with decimals. And let me show you what I mean by this. If you've got the story, mince meat, say you're a shopkeeper and, and you're selling mince meat and it costs 62 rand 95 per kilogram and a customer buys 2.8 kilograms and you want to figure out how much must they pay for it. Well, you know that what you're going to have to do is take the 62 rand 95 and for each kilogram you pay that so in order to work out how much you have to pay in total you've got to multiply by 2.8. Now I recognize you're going to take out a calculator to do this but what's really useful and what will be useful in everyday life as well as in your maths exams is if before you go and do a calculation whether it be by hand or using a calculator that you have a good sense of what the answer might be because it'll help you pick up any errors. So what you are going to do to do something like this is use your rounding. So you're going to say okay look let's have a look 62 rand 95 let's ignore all the complexities and say round it down to the nearest 10 that is around 60 rand and 2.8 let's just round that to the nearest whole and that will be 3. And so we know our answer should be somewhere close to 180. And if I go and put it in my calculator, I get 176,26. But having a sense that it should be close to 180 means that if I push the wrong button on my calculator and come up with an answer like 17 rand, 26 or whatever, I would know that, hang on, something isn't right here. So this kind of estimation is a very useful skill to have. Okay, try this one for fun. I did this division, 17,9 divided by 8, and I get this answer, but I forgot to put the comma down. So think about it, try and figure out where the comma goes, and then we'll go over it. Pause the video and try now. Okay, so 17 comma 9 is very close to 18. 18 divided by 8, well, 8 times 2 gives me 16, so it's going to be 2 and a little bit more, and so I know that my comma would have to go there. Again, doing the long division is not really that crucial because we probably will use a calculator, but having a good sense that when you do 17 comma 9 divided by 8, you're going to get an answer just a bit bigger than 2 is a very good skill to have.